hey what's up it's the angry canuck and um you know i just want to say that uh what the fuck i mean it's um i was looking you know last night you know whatever it was saturday night and uh you know i'm just you know doing what i do and uh i went and logged on to stick em last night and it was pretty dead and uh you know so I was just there and I went into Yokup's chat room and stuff. And so what do I see? I see, you know, Bella the Happy Loser. I see Tommy from the Bronx. I see, you know, for those who don't know, I mean, you know, if you go to Stick'em, you don't know who you might see. You might see In Mendem come in. <laughs> you might see um, Grey Tags. You might see, you know, Vic78 was there. Word up. Give shout outs, you know. And you don't know who you might see come in, you know, so... I mean, anything's possible in Stick'em. Anybody can come in at any time. You might see Goat. You might see the Amazing Atheist there. I mean, it's all good. And and you don't know who you might see on Stick'em. So, I mean, Jesus Freak is there. Uh, you got Yoke up there and his wife. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's interesting times. You know what I mean? And uh, anybody can pop in at any time. So, if you haven't gone on to Stick'em, what you do is you just sign up on an account. And you go to the chat room section. And you'll see a list of chat rooms. That's what I just usually do. And, um... You don't know who can come in. So, I mean, I'm not a big obsessed fan about it. I just like to watch more than I like to participate in it. But, I mean, whatever. So, anyways, last night I was in Yokup's chat room. And Yokup was... Wine. It's good for your heart. So, <laughs> it is. So, um, anyways, last night I was there. And it was... It was... You know, what happened in Yokup's room last night was... It was pathetic. And I think that it was, I think that the people in that room last night should be ashamed of themselves. You should be ashamed of yourselves for for what happened last night in, in Yokup's room. I mean, okay, Bella the Happy Loser was there. I mean, I don't know if Vig78 was there or not. There, Bella the Happy Loser was there. All these other people I don't know were there. Um, Tommy from the Bronx was there. Uh, some other dudes were there. I don't know who they were and stuff. But I've seen them on Stick'em before. And... Um, I'm not a big stick in person, right? But I mean, I think that people that what they did, what they did is they started to basically Christians and atheists alike were basically attacking Yokub. What happened in Yokub's room last night was pretty sad. It was pretty pathetic. It was pretty, you know, it's just awful what happened last night. What you saw were a bunch of, you know, you know, atheists, you know, and you saw a bunch of Christians trying to sit there and control Yoakub's speech. I mean, and to try to, you know, get Yoakub to, you know, this one Christian was there saying, you know what, you're my brother and this and that, but you know, you should change your approach and you should maybe go about it a different way. And everybody's just created this wacko left wing, far left, uh, you know, control your speech sort of <laughs> fantasy. And it was just like, it was honor it was surreal to watch. I mean, I, I knew exactly what was going on. And I just kept saying, yeah, no, I agree with Yoka, but I agree with Yoka. And it's just like, that's, you know what? That's unfair to Yoka. That's unfair to him. You know, to all sit there and gang up on him because you want him to deliver his message a certain way or because you don't like the fact that he, I just like, it, it's, it's phenomenal to sit there and, and to hear, you know, Tommy from the Bronx sit there and, and like more or less telling him off. You know what Tommy in the Bronx said? He said, oh, your wife said that you didn't want you didn't want you on the liquid diet, fasting or whatever. That's it? That's what the big thing is? Did the guy give out your phone number and your address or, or throw eggs at your house or something? No. I mean, come on. And, and everybody gets all upset over that. I mean, that is just, that's just wrong. And I, you know, the hive mentality was there and they want to try and gang up, which are basically the far left were there and they wanted to basically try and gang up and control Yoakup's speech. And they want to dictate what he's going to say and what he's not going to say. I mean, and they want to try and get him to change his style and to try and they want to try and turn against them. And that's what will happen a lot of the time. If you build up enough credibility and you're an entertainer or you're somebody who's an alpha male or whatever, and you're just at that level, everybody eventually is going to try and turn on you and get them, well, we like it, it you know, we think it would be better if he would do this. And that's unfair to him. That's unfair to him because it's, you can't put your own selfishness before, before what he's doing first. You know, if you, he, you know, Jokub said, he said, if you don't, yeah, but if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. 
He was saying you don't have to watch it if you don't like it. Like nobody's really forcing you to watch it. And you know what? Jokub's right. Nobody's really forcing you to to watch it. And you should take him as he is. And you should try to just just let him do as he does. And don't like I know for sure a lot of the people who like my stuff don't agree with absolutely everything I have to say. I am viciously, viciously viciously opposed to immigration that is the number one issue i would love to do every show of just like i and you're like oh well you know illegal immigration no no oh no i'm talking all immigration all immigration i it needs to stop now completely halted any country legal illegal every it needs to just stop until we figure out a new system okay but i don't i know most people well every person probably doesn't agree with that but that's fine they don't have to sit there and say oh well you know what you shouldn't say that and try and control my speech but that's what everybody was doing last night. Everybody was was seeing there trying to control Jokob's speech and trying to say that you should use this or you should do that and you how could you be saying this? And I think that was just really sad. And I think that I think that, that was just awful that those people did that and tried to gang up on him and control his speech. You should take Jokob as he is. And to and to, you know what, for the Christians out there, you know, who try to quote Bible, you know, whenever somebody tries to quote the Bible or the Quran or anything like that, always take that with a grain of salt. You can twist around the Bible to support anything. You can twist around the Bible or the Quran to support pedophilia, to, to kill people, to, you can, you know, any political issue, you can always use the Bible and Quran for that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? And it, it's just like, you know, especially Hinduism. Hinduism, you can just... You know, whatever you want to do, you can say it's okay by Hindu word. You know what I mean? So it, it's, you know, you can't use scriptures and books to sit there and say, well, you're not allowed to, you know, Jokub does a prayer on one of his videos. Some guy comes and says, oh, well, you're not allowed to do the prayer because, you know, in Matthew, this and that, it says, oh, whatever. And what about this other part of the Bible that says this? Or was it in the context of that, you know? And then that's, you can go on the whole month just talking about that alone and you're not going to reach a conclusion you know so i mean it's <laughs> i think it's absolutely ridiculous to try and sit there and, and use bible phrases to try to use the bible you're using the bible you're using the quran as a person for your own censorship and political gain over yoke that's what you're trying to do and that's wrong and you should be ashamed of yourselves you should really be ashamed of yourselves for what happened there last night I mean, that's just the wrong thing to do. You know what I mean? To, to quote to quote from the scriptures, to quote from the Bible or the Quran or anything, to try and use that book, you know, for your own controlling of speech and political gain, you're no different than a Muslim out, out, in, out in Saudi Arabia or out in Pakistan or out in Bangladesh. You're no different than those people trying to use the book for political gain. And I think that Yoakob, you know what I mean? I think that Jokob is, is, I don't know too much about the dude, to be honest. You know what I mean? But I, you know, I know he makes partner quality videos and he's definitely like, he can shoot, he shoots some great videos and he shoots great footage and, and that sort of thing. You know what I mean? And uh, he's allowed, he's perfectly allowed to say that atheism is a cancer. It's a, it's a problem. It's an evil thing and only God can take it away. Personally, I disagree with that. Um, there's probably a lot of other Christians that disagree with that. It has to come within the person themselves. The person has to choose the path they want to go down. If they want to go down an atheist path, then it's not, you know, he has to first make the decision. You know what I mean? But that's just me disagreeing. But I don't have to sit there and try and control him and tell him, like, you have to say this and that. Tommy from the Bronx was being way out of, he was going way out of line last night. Tommy from the Bronx was, was, you know, Tommy from the Bronx was was that was just awful some of the stuff he was saying was just awful last night and you know he, he was basically you know he was basically sitting there and and just like completely disrespecting him and just you know what i mean over what over nothing you know when when i'm you know everybody knows when yoke was saying yeah you quit the challenge of this and that and blah 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 he wasn't being all serious like you know what i mean you're a failure and you're like a failure to your family and your kids no he didn't mean that come on he just meant you know he was just it was a goddamn diet you know what i mean he wasn't talking about you know what i mean like you're a failure in life 